Welcome back to Mr. White's garden for another assembly. I've got a new friend with us today. <laughs> but he's a little bit shy. It's okay. These are lovely children. There's no need to be shy. Oh, look, children. It's Pete the parrot. Hi, Pete. Say hello to the children. Hi. Say hello, everybody. This is Pete the parrot. And Pete, this is our new friend. His name is... What's your name? What? You don't have a name? Now, Pete is going to find you a name. You see, names are really, really important. Everyone should have a name. When I lived in Africa, well, that's where you come from. You come from Africa. Well, when I lived in Africa, we used to have a little boy working with us, and his name was Monday. Can you believe that? His name was Monday. Do you know why he was called Monday? He was called Monday because he was born on a Monday. In our country, we often have children and girls who are called April, May and June because they were born on a month of the year. Would you like to be called December or November? What about Thursday or Friday? When I lived in Scotland, I had a friend who was called Robert Glenn and his dad was called Robert Glenn and his grandfather was called Robert Glenn, because in Scotland, sometimes the boys are named after their fathers. Now I live in Wales. Do you like Wales? It's a lovely place, isn't it? In Wales, often mums and dads give their children Welsh names. Like Davith, or Sean, or Eleri, or Rhys. Would you like a Welsh name? Maybe. Okay. Some parents give their children Bible names. Now in the Bible, lots of people were given names because of what the name meant. The first man that God created was called Adam. God made him from the earth, from the dust. Adam means earthy. Then God made a partner for Adam. Her name was Eve. Eve was made from Adam's rib and God breathed life into Eve. Eve means breath. Or life. Moses mother wanted to protect him when he was a baby so she made a basket and put him inside. She then put the basket on the river Nile and hid him amongst the bulrushes. Soon a princess was bathing down by the river and she noticed the basket. She asked one of her servants to fetch it for her. When she opened the basket she saw a little baby boy. She decided that she would take him home to become her own son. She named him Moses, which means taken out of the water. 
David started life as a shepherd boy. He enjoyed playing his harp and singing praises to God. He loved God and God loved David. David trusted God even when it meant fighting against a giant like Goliath. He was not scared because God was on his side. He beat the giant Goliath. Soon Samuel chose David to become the new king of Israel. He chose him because God loved him. David means loved of God. Now, the most important name in the Bible is the name Jesus. Do you know the story of when Jesus was given a name? There was an angel, Angel Gabriel, that's right. And Angel Gabriel visited Mary and said to Mary, Mary, you're gonna have a special baby boy and you have got to give him the name Jesus because Jesus means savior. This special boy, yeah, this special boy is gonna save his people. That's right. And then the angel went to Joseph and he said to Joseph, Joseph, Mary's going to have a baby and he's going to be called Jesus. You must call him Jesus because Jesus means, that's right, means saviour. And when Jesus grew up, he went to the cross and he died on the cross and then he was raised to life again to save his people. Isn't that amazing? Mahi Namsa Kani Naur, it's time to sing now. Adakim Barot. Here we go. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you. J E S U S says. He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. The jungle and the sea. Bubble, 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 bubble. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? And who's the king of me? I'll tell you. J E S U S is. He's the king of me. He's the king of the universe. The jungle and the sea. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the Lord Jesus. We thank you for his name, the name that tells us he is the Saviour. We thank you that he came to rescue and to save his people. And we thank you as well that you gave us names. We thank you that each of us can have a name that shows that we are individuals and that we are special. And we thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, look, children. Pete's back. Say hello to the children, Pete. It's good to be back, children. So, Pete, did you find us a name? I look everywhere. No name. Oh no, Pete couldn't find us a name. Oh. Ah, but, I have a good idea. Hang on, Pete says he's got a good idea. Pete, yeah. what's your good idea? Let's ask the children to find a name. That's a great idea. Pete thinks that the children at home can choose a name for you. I think that's a fantastic idea. Would you like to do that, children? Would you like to be the ones 
to choose a name for my new monkey friend. You'd like that? Okay, so that's what we'll do. Children, you've got to come up with a name. Draw a picture of the monkey, write the name over the top and send it to your teacher. And we'll choose which we think is the best name. Oh, thanks, Pete. That was great. Yay. Say bye-bye to the children, Pete. Bye-bye, children. Say bye-bye. <laughs> See you all next time, children. Bye.